Hi everyone. Today in this video, let us discuss about the biosynthesis and chemical sense of estrogens. Estrogens are obtained from the cholesterol biosynthesis and one of the important intermediate is the pregnenolone. And this intermediate again acts as a precursor for the biosynthesis of the androgens like the testosterone. But here we will see how this pregnenolone can be converted into estrogens. In our previous video, we have already discussed about the estrogens. Estrogens are having an estrogen nucleus, which is having the 18 carbon nucleus. And they are not having any side chain at the 17th position. So one of the thing we have to remove this side chain. And second thing, estrogens are having the aromatic ring. So we have to introduce an aromatic nature to the first ring. And finally, they are not having a methyl group at the 19th position, which should be removed. So all these modification can be done by which this pregnant loan can be converted into estrogens. So the first step is to remove this uh, side chain. But in order to remove the side chain, initially we have to introduce a hydroxyl group at the 17th position. So here the first step is the 17 alpha hydroxylation in presence of oxygen and NADPH. Then this pregnant loan can be converted to another intermediate. Now here you can observe the hydroxyl group is attached by alpha configuration. So this is nothing but the 17 alpha hydroxy pregnant loan. Now, in presence of hydroxyl group at the 17th position, this carbon chain can be easily removed. Now, the next step is the 17 alpha hydroxy pregnolone, which is having a side chain. This side chain is going to be removed again by oxidation. Now, this 17 alpha hydroxy pregnolone is going to be converted into another intermediate. And here you can see the side chain is going to be removed along with the ketone group at the 17th position. So, this is nothing but the dehydroepiandrosterone, which is having a ketone group at the 17th position. So we have removed the side chain at the 17th position and another important thing is we have to introduce the aromatic nature to the first ring. So how can we do this? So in this dehydro epiandrosterone we can observe third position hydroxyl group is there and fifth and sixth position a double bond is there. So this can undergo the oxidation followed by tautomerization. So by oxidation the OH group is going to ketone and by tautomerization the double bond is going to be shifted to the adsent position. So by this, this dehydroepiandrosterone is going to become to another intermediate. This is nothing but the androstein dione. Now in the androstein dione, you can observe that a ketone group is present at the third position and fourth and fifth position, a double bond is present. We have already seen these steps in the biosense of the androgens. But here, after the androstein dione, this ring is going to be aromatized such that they are going to produce the estrogens. So this androstein dione, which is having only one double bond now it should be aromatized so we have to introduce the extra double bonds and another important thing is the removal of the methyl group at the 19th position now this is going to be reacted by one of the enzyme aromatase this enzyme can introduce the aromatic nature to the first ring first step in this aromatase action is the oxidation on oxidation the methyl group is going to be oxidized such that is androstein dione is going to form a structure like this now you can observe here an aldehyde group is going to be produced. So methyl group is converted to aldehyde functionality by oxidation. And this undergoes further oxidation and cleavage of this aldehyde group such that the formaldehyde group is going to be removed. And again, this reaction is going to be mediated by aromatase enzyme such that it is going to form a another double bond. Simultaneously, the ketone is converted to a enol so that one more double bond is going to produce and it is going to produce the estrone. You can observe that by removal of this uh, formaldehyde, one double bond is going to be produced. By conversion of the ketone to the enol, and the double bond is going to be produced. In this way, two new double bonds are going to be produced, which makes the ring aromatic in nature. In this pathway, estrone is the first estrogen that is going to be biosynthesized. Now this estrone can be converted into estradiol. So here it requires the OH group at the 17th position. So 17 beta hydroxy steroidal dehydrogenase enzyme, which is going to produce the reduction of this ketone group into the alcohol. This enzyme converts the estrone to the estradiol. Now in the estradiol, you can observe a 17 beta hydroxyl group. And this estradiol can also be obtained from the testosterone by the same enzyme, aromatase enzyme. This aromatase enzyme can convert the testosterone directly into the estradiol. So estradiol can be obtained through the estrone, otherwise directly from the testosterone. Now let us see the chemical sense of the estrogens. Again, we can use the Marcus degradation just like we have seen the androgens. 
the diazin is one of the precursor that can act as a source of steroidal hormones so diazin can be converted to one of the important intermediate that is the androstenolone now this androstenolone is converted to estrogen nucleus but again you can see what are the modifications we have to produce here it is having a double bond at the fifth and sixth position which should be removed and the first ring should be aromatized so here this double bond is not required so first step is the reduction where this double bond is going to be reduced followed by oxidation with the chromium trioxide such that it is going to be converted into structure like this where you can observe the double bond is going to be saturated and OH group is going to a ketone group so reduction as well as oxidation results in the formation of this intermediate now already we got one ketone here and then we have to introduce the double bonds now this intermediate is reacted with the bromine and acetic acid such that it is undergoing the alpha bromination on both sides of the ketone you can observe a bromine group is attached on both sides of this ketone now this bromine group can be easily removed such that it is going to form a double bond so here in the next step the two hydrogen bromide molecules are going to be removed such that it is going to introduce the two double bonds now what is the name of this intermediate this is the androstar diene dione we should not confuse this with the androstene dione this is a different intermediate androstar diene dione so it is having a two double bonds and two ketone groups with an androstene nucleus so androstar diene dione now this androstar diene dione is undergoing the thermolysis so here you can observe the methyl group is present at the 19th position which is not required so it undergoes the thermolysis says that this methyl group is going to be removed and simultaneously it is going to form an aromatic ring to produce the estrone in this way by marcus degradation estrone can be synthesized but nowadays we can directly derive the androstar diene dione from cholesterol cholesterol can be converted to androstar diene dione otherwise cytosterol can also be converted into this intermediate and this can be carried by fermentation process with the mycobacterium flea which releases the androstar diene dione from which we can prepare the synthetic estrogens now let us see the synthetic estrogens how they can be prepared synthetic estrogens can be prepared from the estrone so estrone can be modified to produce a synthetic estrogens and we know one of the synthetic estrogen is the ethinyl estradiol which is having a ethinyl group at the 17th position now since this estrone is having a ketone group at the 17th position it can undergo the nucleophilic addition so when it is going to be reacted with the sodium estylide along with the liquid ammonia it can produce a drug like this this is nothing but the ethinyl estradiol now you can observe at the 17th position ethinyl group is going to be attached at the same time the ketone group is coming to OH group so now this estrone becomes estradiol with an extra ethinyl group so that is nothing but the ethinyl estradiol and already we have seen in the previous video ethinyl estradiol is having the less inactivation compared with the estradiol so it is uh, 12 times more effective compared with the estradiol similarly from the ethinyl estradiol we can prepare the another drug mestranol mestranol is having a methyl ether at the third position so whatever the oh group at the third position should be modified so this can be mediated by one of the reagent methane sulfonate the methane sulfonate acts as a donor for the methyl group so now in presence of this reagent this ethanyl estradiol is going to be converted into mestranol now the mestranol is having a methoxy group at the third position which acts as a product when this ether bridge is going to be cleaved it produces the ethanyl estradiol as the active drug in this way from the estrone we can prepare the ethanyl estradiol and from the ethanyl estradiol we can prepare the mestranol so that's about the biosynthesis and chemical synthesis of the estrogens so biosynthesis of the estrogens is obtained from the pregnenolone just like the androgens but here the aromatase is one of the enzyme which specifically prepare the estrogens by introducing the more double bond to the first ring making it aromatic in nature similarly in the chemical synthesis we can use the marcus degradation and one of the important intermediate is the androstar diene dione which can be converted into estrone but nowadays by fermentation process by using the mycobacterium flea we can directly get this androstar diene dione from the cholesterol or cytosterol then this androstar diene dione can be converted into estrone ethanyl estradiol and mestranol in this way the estrogens can be synthesized within the body as well as chemically so that's for today if you like this video please subscribe to our channel share this video with your friends post your comments in the comment box thank you for watching this video